I don't understand money. I don't. That's partly why I'm a comedian. Uh, <laughs> this is a terrible financial decision. Like, sometimes I do gigs, I try to work out how much money I'm making on the gig. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, cost me about $3 a kilometre to drive my car. Uh, I drove 20 k's to get here. Uh, they're paying me with a sandwich. <laughs> how does that work out? <laughs> it doesn't work out, is the answer. Right? But I don't think money is real, right? And whenever I say that, people always go, oh, of course money's real, Michael. Look, here's some, here's some notes, here's some coins. No, that's currency. Money and currency, two different things, right? Like, if money was beer, currency would be the glass it comes in, right? <laughs> we have currency, so when you go to the bank, you can get your money out in the form of notes. Kind of like how when you go to the bar, we have glasses so that when you order a beer, they don't just spray it in your face. <laughs> this guy's like, oh, actually, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Let's do that from now on. <laughs> but the notes just represent money. Right? In the olden days, it used to represent gold. Like, a $10 note was worth $10 of gold. But now, the notes just represent, like, $10 of the idea of money. <laughs> that is like playing musical chairs, but instead of chairs, you've got the concept of chairs. <laughs> I'm worried the music's going to stop, everyone's going to get hurt. I think it's a problem. And people go, oh, Michael, it's not a problem, you know, because we all believe the notes have value, you know, you can use it to buy goods and services. You know, believe in it, you get stuff. <laughs> That's how money works. And I'm like, yeah, but it's also how Santa works. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we just made it up. We thought it'd make you behave. <laughs> But that's the idea, right? The money gets its value because the government says it has value, right? Now, when the government makes a note and uh, says it's money, that's called fiat currency. Uh, when you do it, that's a crime. Uh, <laughs> don't try it at home. But that's the idea, right? The government makes a note and goes, this is money. Kind of like how McDonald's makes nuggets and goes, this is chicken. <laughs> People there going, I don't think that's chicken. <laughs> They're like, yes, it is. That is fiat chicken. <laughs> don't enjoy that. Right, but now that's what we have. We don't have, it's no gold, not silver. It's just people's faith and hope and trust. That is, that is terrifying. That's like being on the Titanic and realizing they've replaced all the life jackets with happy thoughts. <laughs> you know? Like, shouldn't it be something tangible? Shouldn't it be something real? Shouldn't, you know, maybe gold's a good idea. You know, it's always been valuable. We'd always, we've had that expression, you know, oh, it's good as gold. It's good as gold. It means very, very trustworthy, very reliable. Good as gold. No one ever goes, oh, as good as an abstract concept of value. <laughs> it just never happens, right? So this is the position we're in. We could be on the edge of a massive monetary collapse, right? All our notes and coins could suddenly become worth it. That would be terrible. But... If that did happen, I would look like a genius. Because I've been getting paid in sandwiches. <laughs> hey, did you like that? Then go get my CD. It's available right now for free. Just go to michaelconnell.com.au and sign up for my newsletter. You'll then get a free copy of my CD. It's a hilarious half hour of stand-up that I recorded when I was on tour in New Zealand. Plus, every month or so, I'll send you a copy of my newsletter. It's got subscriber-only videos, ticket giveaways, whole heap of great stuff. So go on, do it now. Go to michaelconnell.com.au, sign up for the newsletter, and get your free copy of my CD. See you there.